Zebra mussels are invasive and very annoying to homeowners. So one of the questions now is, what do you do with the millions that wash up on lake and bay shores by the millions each year? Well, as Fox 11's Chad Doran reports, the DNR is now trying to make it easier for homeowners to clean them up. To homeowners along Lake Winnebago, the millions of zebra mussels that washed up on shore last summer looked like a plague. No, I've never seen them before. I mean, like I said, we had paradise. That is until a mountain of zebra mussels closed off Clarence Fisher's channel, and with it, his access to Lake Winnebago. I mean, how much worse can it get? I mean, it's just right across, sealed. You couldn't, uh, you, the fish couldn't get in. We couldn't get out. To use anything more than a shovel to clean them up, homeowners needed to apply for a permit with the DNR. It required a public comment period and a wait of up to 120 days. Not much help for homeowners wanting to use their waterfront property all summer long. But now the DNR is streamlining the process with a new permit. And it allows them to use heavy equipment uh, to clean up uh, you know, debris off their shoreline, whether it's vegetation or uh, zebra mussel shells or alewives or, or whatever. The DNR says the goal of the new permit process is to help homeowners clean up piles like these much quicker. But some worry even that won't help. People have just got kind of given up about the whole problem. I think once when it first started, everyone was all up in arms about how terrible that was and how it was going to destroy the lake and make it, you know, terrible for swimming and everything. But now People just kind of accepted the fact that they're there. Homeowners will still need to meet certain guidelines in applying for the permit. Approval will come in 30 days or less. It will cost $300 and be in effect for five years. Good news for a problem that doesn't appear to be going away. In the town of Black Wolf, Chad Doran, Fox 11 News. Now, if you want to check out the requirements for a permit or to download an application, visit our website at fox11online.com and click on the news link section.